Hey guys, Two Ton Streamer here, and today we are going to talk about a crucial time in your leveling experience on Ark, and that is the levels 8 to 20. These levels are a time of planning and getting ready for what's to come and making sure that you're in a good position and ready for your first and future tames, which is a large part of playing Ark. In this video, I will show you how to prepare for that first big tame, including how to add on to your current house to make it safer and easier for taming. So if you're ready, let's dive right on in. As soon as you can, I suggest learning the Mortar and Pestle. It doesn't matter if you're planning on soloing, tribe play, or PvP, you need this invaluable item to get you on your way to taming. So make one or two of them now. Also go ahead and research Spark Powder and Narcotics. I also decided to research the Sloped Thatch Roof Sides and Angled Thatch Roof. The Mortar and Pestle allows you to craft Narcotics. Narcotics are what you use to keep a knocked out dino down without it waking up. You need one piece of spoiled meat and five narco berries to make each narcotic. Keep in mind that you can use narco berries by themselves, but they spoil over time. If you make them into narcotics, these do not spoil, and therefore you can craft tons of these and keep them in your storage box without fear of spoilage. The mortar and pestle also crafts some other things like spark powder, which can be used in fires as a longer lasting fuel. Or it can also be used in preserving bins, which acts as a prehistoric refrigerator that keeps your berries, cooked meat, and other spoilables from going bad. You will get narco berries while running around collecting berries. There is a lower chance to get narco berries than some of the other berries, making these a bit of a pain to get. Want to know an easier way to get narco berries? This leads us to our next question. This is up to you, and something that varies from person to person. The easiest animal on the Ark to tame is the dodo. To tame one of these, you simply go over to them and punch them a few times until they fall over unconscious. Be careful not to keep punching them or you will kill them. You can also use the club to knock them out, but this might be a waste of engram points and your fist will do the trick just the same. Your first major tame, though, should be a trike. Triceratops are a great beginner's mount. While riding them, you can collect berries much faster, and this includes narcotics. Riding around in a trike and using its attack action on plants nets you over 100 narco berries within a minute. They are also not bad at helping you kill those pesky turtles and also dilos, raptors, and other trikes. Once you get its health up close to 1,000, they can be useful in taking out the occasional carno as well, but that's about all you really want to try at this point. Trikes also fit nicely on boats, so you can take them with you once you are seafaring. You unlock the trike saddle at level 20. If you have made friends with people on the Ark, you can ask if anyone can craft you one, but it's not really that long of a wait to get to level 20. You can get there from level 7 or 8 within a couple of hours or so. For your first time playing, I would suggest following my next few steps as it will help you get acquainted with some various things in the game and get you on your way. There are preparations to make. The saddle cannot be made until level 20, which gives you 10 levels or so to prepare. First things first, you will need 140 hides, 80 fiber, and 25 wood to create the saddle. In order to get a trike down, you will need 40 to 60 narcotics to take them down and to keep them down. To make those narcotics, you will need 2 to 300 narco berries, and then 40 to 60 spoiled meat. The meat is pretty easy to get, and I have a nice little trick to show you that will help you spoil the meat faster. In getting the meat, you are also taking care of the hides at the same time. Also, keep all Mijo berries you obtain and save them. You will probably need about 100 to 150 of these as well, which you should easily get while getting the Narco berries. At level 15, you can learn the bow and arrow. Now, you might be tempted to run out and start using it, and this is fine, but keep in mind that you will need 25 to 35 arrows later to make your Trank arrows, so make those 35 first and put them away in your chest. Honestly, I just use a spear to kill the dinos you need, but I do suggest going out and practicing the bow a bit before we try to take down a trike. The animals you should be trying to gather meat and hides from are the same ones you have been killing so far. Kill every dodo and dilo that you come across. Stay away from trikes and turtles. I know they are tempting, but they are harder to kill, and even with arrows, turtles can be tough to take down. You could easily spend 50 arrows on a turtle alone, and this is a waste of resources. Killing all the dodos and dilos you see as you go around collecting berries and collecting building materials will net you all the meat and hides you need. So, while meat is in your inventory, you can split it up into stacks. 
meet naturally stacks in groups of 20. What you need to do is to take that stack of 20 and keep splitting it until you have 20 stacks of 1. Then they will all spoil at the same time, so after a few minutes instead of only one meat spoiling, all 20 have just spoiled at the same exact time. In this game you need to think big, so instead of 20 stacks of 1, how about 50 stacks of 1 or more? Now you have all the spoiled meat that you will need for the narcotics you are going to need. Now that you are level 10, you can learn the wooden foundation and walls. Keep in mind that you unlock new engrams every 5 levels, so usually when I am closing in on that 5th level, I try to slow down on my spending so I have more points to research the cooler things that are coming. My suggestion on this topic is the same no matter what level range you are. Build, 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 and did I mention building? Building is one of the fastest ways to level at any point in the game, whether you are at the wood tier, stone, or metal. Building nets you a ton of XP and also gains you some cool and useful things. This is the gathering stage. The easiest thing to do is turn your thatch hut into a wooden hut. Just going around and collecting wood for foundations, walls, and ceilings will not only make your little thatch hut stronger, but you will get to level 15 faster than by doing anything else. Break up the monotony by killing some dinos or tame a dodo or dilo. Dodos make great little refrigerators, and by that I mean that you can store perishables on them and they do not spoil as fast as they do in your inventory or in a chest. As you get 15 or 20 narco berries, take them to the mortar and pestle and make 4 or 5 narcotics at a time. Then go back out and collect berries, more wood, thatch, and fiber. You will get fiber while collecting those narco berries, so it's a win-win. Also, if you happen to see a white light from the sky and it's close by, go grab those as well. Just be careful of your surroundings. Okay, so now your house should be all wood. At level 15, you learn how to make wooden pillars and ramps. So, on the outside of your house, choose any wall away from your door. Then craft a regular ceiling and put it to where it's sticking out, kind of like an overhang. Then craft a couple of ramps and run them from the ceiling down. In Ark, when building, you often have to build top to bottom instead of bottom to top. It's backwards, I know, but it's something you need to get into your head now because it will make life easier. Once you have your ramp going up to your roof, you should place a small storage box on the top of your roof. Inside, I would place a spare bow because nothing sucks more when trying to tame a dino than when your bow breaks and it needs to be repaired. Having spare arrows or spare bow back up in this box can be life-saving. Now, when you have attracted the hostilities of a dino, you can easily run up the ramp to the roof and you will be out of harm's way and should be able to safely shoot trank arrows at the trike until it's unconscious. Remember that if your house is only too tall, that you need to remain near the peak of the roof in order to not be hit. If your house is three tall, then you will need three ramps crafted. This can be a slow time. You are not quite ready to fully take on big tames, but you are running out of things to make. This is when I choose to expand on my house or surroundings if it's truly where I intend to stay. For example, if you are near a river, you might have noticed that crossing that river can lead to quick peril due to piranhas. I like to make bridges. Even if I won't necessarily be building in that area, bridges help people out, and they are a great way to get to the next big level fast. Also, at level 15, you can learn the stone wall. Start collecting stone and redo those wood walls with stone. Or, if you do not plan on sticking around in that area, make stone walls and store them for your new base and or boat. Speaking of boats, research that raft and make one ASAP. They almost offer you an entire level just from crafting one. Plus, these open up the whole map for you and you can create a taming trap. I call it a taming trap or a taming tower. It's basically the same principle from earlier with the house. You use height as a way to be out of reach from dinos. So on a raft, once you craft it, you need to place four foundations. Just be sure not to block the rudder because this can cause issues with staying on the boat or steering. After placing your four foundations, then create ceilings and expand the width of the raft space. This will allow you to build more and make your little raft base bigger. You can do a lot with rafts, from making a full-on little safe house to much, much more. For a simple portable taming trap, I go with about four wooden pillars. Then I put a ceiling at the top of it, and then a hatch frame where I plan on climbing up and down. Place four ladders to this hatch, and then make at least three more ceilings and place them in a cross pattern from the original center ceiling, so you have different angles to shoot from. Then, when you aggro something big, you simply run up the ladder and shoot the beast from the safety of height. Keep in mind that for a T-Rex, you will need to get higher, so you'll need at least eight pillars in order to not be hit. 
Building up high like this can be hard as placing items will be out of reach, so pull up next to a large rock to place those ceilings and ladders. You can prefabricate this entire structure and carry it with you on foot and quickly assemble them anywhere you wish to knock something out for a tame or just to kill stuff. With all of your preparations done, you are ready to tame that trike. The principle for taming most dinos is the same, with the exception of the passive tames, which affects the gorilla, small monkeys, and dolphin, but we'll discuss those later. This is an aggressive tame, which means that you are beating or injuring some beast into submission. Dinos have a torpor stat. On some dinos, it's higher than others. Your job is to shoot trank arrows into a dino until they are unconscious, and then you have to place narcotics into the animal's inventory and force feed them, or remote use item, is what you will actually select. So, go and find a trike. For me, I had to go a bit far to find one, but I remained on the beach and did not go into the jungle. Once you find one that you think is suitable, you will want to be as far away as you can and shoot it with a trank arrow. Make sure you switch arrows and do not shoot them with a normal arrow. Also, make sure there is not another trike close by because any that are will come after you as well. Once you have shot one, it will charge after you and the battle music will start. Turn and run. Trikes are not faster than you, but they are not that slow either. Hopefully you dump some points into stamina so you do not run out, which will allow the trike to catch up with you and probably kill you. Depending on how far away you are, the music might stop and thus the trike has stopped following you and you will need to shoot them again to get their attention. Once you lead them back to your place, try to swing around so that the trike cannot follow you directly up the ramp and instead attacks the side of your house. Now you will stay on top of your house and you might want to go into first person viewing mode to shoot the arrows. It doesn't matter what part of the dino you hit so long as you do hit it somewhere. You will see little blood splats if you are indeed hitting it. After about 25 arrows or so it should pass out and will collapse to the ground. Now it's safe to get down and go over to the trike. Open up its inventory and put all of the mijo berries inside of it. The mijo berries are its preferred berry of choice over the others. If you feed a dino its preferred food, then it gains more levels when tamed. Looking at the taming effectiveness window, you can see that it shows the current level, the unconscious bar, as well as the taming bar. Above that though is something called taming effectiveness. This starts at 100% and with each bite will either stay the same or get lower. If the food the dino is eating is its most preferred, then it stays the same. If it's something that it likes but is not preferred, then it drops some. Almost all dinos have a favorite kibble that they prefer. Kibble is something that you craft from specific eggs plus some other ingredients. So for instance, a triceratops prefers kibble that's made from carno eggs. If we put Carno Egg Kibble into the trike's inventory, his taming effectiveness would stay at 99% and he would get 12 more levels once tamed. Since we are not at a level where we can make kibble though, we have to use the best thing that's available to us and that is Mijo Berries. With these berries, the taming effectiveness will drop a little, but not as much as if we were to feed it any other berry. I think with Mijo Berries we will probably end up with an 80% effective rate and probably get about 10 levels, making this a level 36 trike once it's tamed, which isn't bad. Keep in mind that if anything attacks your dino while it's knocked out, the effectiveness will drop significantly. I've seen a little dilo ruin a perfect tame, so if you're in a hostile area, you will want to build up some temporary walls around the animal while it's unconscious. You will need to watch those two meters. The unconscious meter starts out full, and if it depletes all the way down, the dinosaur wakes up. If you look down at the dino stats, you see the torpor level is dropping. Keep in mind that three of the narcotic pots equal about 115 points of torpor, so you need to keep an eye on this and shove multiples of three into it for each 100 points it's low. So for instance, if it has 300 out of 600 torpor, remote use nine of the pots to get back the 300 points and fill the unconscious bar again. Once the dino is about 80% tamed, it's safe to back off of using narcotics a bit so you don't waste them. Also keep in mind that certain dinos lose torpor faster, so you'll have to keep a closer eye on these. But now you place the saddle in the item slot to the right of the creature's inventory and take it out for a spin. Just remember to watch its stamina while fighting. Some dinos can kick you off if they are out of stamina or pass out. Your dinos level just as you do, so put points where you want them. For a trike, I would suggest points into health and stamina in the beginning. Get his life up to over a thousand and you will not be disappointed. 
Weight is another good one to bulk up, but get the dinos healthy first. Most dinos in ARC can help you collect different resources faster than you can do so alone. Trikes can collect berries really fast as well as thatch. They collect small amounts of wood, so they are not as good as your axe for that. If you are collecting narco berries for your next tame, go out and hit bushes with its attack. Then check its inventory and pull over the stuff you want, such as narco berries, thatch, or wood, and then hit drop all from your trikes inventory so you lower the dino's weight and keep gathering with them to get more narco berries. Make sure you leave some berries on your trike when you are done so that they do not starve. You have some exciting things coming up. Getting to level 25 is basically about the same. More collecting, only now you want to start bulking up on stone and trying to get some metal pieces for what's coming. You need to decide if you want to stay where you started or plan on moving. Join us next time when we discuss the forge, smithy, and metal tools. Plus we shall get our first carnivore tame and who knows what other fun is in store. See you then and please ask questions below. I am here to answer and help any way I can. Until then, like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the arc.